All right, guys. <coughs> Sorry, the channel's been a bit quiet lately. Um, I haven't worked at all this week. It's house, house of the dead. Everyone's sick. I'm feeling all right, but kids are off school. Sick. I'm sick. Can't work because the kids are sick. Can't work because I'm tired and sick. <laughs> <sighs> Joys of being self-employed, eh? So uh, yeah, I'm gonna start a just giving page. Driver Matty is sick. Please donate. Give me some wages. <laughs> I'm only, <joking>. <laughs> only messing. But I've had to sort out a lot of things this week, and it's been a bit chaotic. But the thumbnail and the and the um, TV, the video title is not a blag. I've already sold the um, no, so I'm already selling the Beamer. I've had it for like what four weeks, and it's going. It's on the auto trade as we speak. <sighs> yeah. So, anyone want to buy it? I'll even sign it for you. I'll sign the logbook for you. Driver Matthews, <laughs> ex celebrity car. <laughs> Holy mom, I'm so tired. Bleh, feel rough. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I'm selling. The, I'm selling the five series. So it's just not big enough for me, guys. Um, I've gone from I've gone from the bus with the massive boots and loads of room and loads of space to the five series. Now I know the five series are big, but they're not they're not big enough for me. They're just not. Uh, with the seats all the way back, do you know what I mean? People like moan a bit about a leg room, especially if it's a taller person. Because obviously I'm right back. But even when I'm right back, my knee's still up against the dash. Because I'm lanky. Um, so, yeah. So when I first got it, mate, I was just loving it and loving it. But if I start doing like long shifts in it, start hitting 10 hour shifts in there, getting a bit claustrophobic and it's a bit snug. And it's doing me head in. It is, it's just too snuggy. Um. Yeah, and then obviously I love the car. The car's gorgeous, but there's no Uber exec, no way for carrot Uber exec. So then I'm bouncing around in a very nice car that will cost a very nice price to fix for no additional, there's no additional income to cover it. Do you know what I mean? So like if you had the choice between say a five series or a Mondeo, you're doing gonna do this. You're gonna do the same amount. You're gonna do the same workload in it but one's going to be hell of a lot cheaper to repair and stuff in it do you know what I mean uh, I know that you've got a reputation to be, being a bit more reliable they are Germans but we are now let's do the same job me I am honestly God I need to start being more prepared for these YouTube videos I'm just yawning through this aren't I so I'm laughing so yes I have so I am selling the five cities it was lovely. I still think it's lovely. It's very nice. And um, I will miss it. But it was the tipping point as well. Is, um, as you know, I do a lot of private jobs. Not at the moment, but I do a lot of private jobs. And I had one the other day and the woman had a Zimmer frame. But it was like the square ones, fixed square ones. And uh, it wouldn't go in the boot because it's a saloon. So I had, to, I had to have the zipper frame like across the back seat and the passenger in the front. Just went, just went good. Just went good. Do you know what I mean? So just a few nigg niggly bits like that. And to be honest, in my opinion, I reckon diesel is a dying, dying breed. As you know, when I bought the 5 Series, I bought it because my choice in cars was limited because I'm getting such a good part X price for my bus. Um, so I jumped in the Beamer, test out Uber Exec. I was going to keep it till about March next year. Um, but I thought my next car has come up and I weren't planning on it to come up and it's a belter and I've already bought it and it'll be, I'll, I'll re reveal when I get it but I've already I've already got the car now so I'm selling the Beamer so I can get in the new one but, oh mate it's so much nicer though it's so much nicer it's lovely you know can't wait to show you what I've got Um, but yeah it is. It's lovely. It's lovely. Um, I won't struggle at all in it. 
it ticks every every box. I'd say it's probably the best taxi slash Uber car out there, in my opinion. Uh, but we always talk about diesel. Yeah, so diesels. One thing about diesels is, as well, uh, I bought it because obviously I got a good price on my bus and all that. Um, and I wanted to test out Uber exact, but diesels, in my opinion, are a dying breed. They are. They're going to be, um, they stop selling them, aren't they, in like 2030s, whatever. Have you seen the fuel now? Even if the fuel's going up and down, the gap between petrol and diesel is growing. It's nearly like 25p per litre. And I've heard after Christmas and like going into the new year, the gap's going to get even bigger. Because they want to get rid of the diesels. They're going to be charging more um, di- f- fuel, diesel fuel. So yeah, and I think as well, as long longer you keep your diesels, I think the um, depreciation as well is going to go down a lot quicker than like a hybrid or a plug-in hybrid or an electric car. Do you know what I mean? I think they'll keep their value a lot more than the diesel um, and going going forward. And this car that I want to get now is going to be my car for a good few years. I want to I want to get a car that I won't change. I won't have to change because you do lose money when you change your cars. Uh, but luckily, I got enough, so much money back off my bus. The money I'm losing on the Beamer sale, I'm still in profit from the bus sale. Do you know what I mean? But still, you lose a lot of money selling cars. So, um, yeah, oh, this this next car is going to be a keeper. Like, but yeah, that's just the reason why I'm selling it. Really, just obviously diesel's dying, as you know. Um, electric and all that's it is the future. Is the infrastructure there yet for full electrics? It, who knows? Probably not. But we're heading to that direction. There's no denying it. Um, yeah, the saloon boot, just a couple of little times has caused me problems. And obviously just the general space in it. Big, lanky, fat boy like myself. I need a um, bigger car. Maybe, it's, maybe as a little spoiler, maybe it's a little city-up car. 4 by 4 maybe. No, is it? Can't tell you. Can't tell you what it is. Right, listen. Um, is it a 4 by No, it's not a 4 by 4 is it? I don't know. Listen, thanks very much for watching. Sorry for rambling. Sorry that the YouTube channel's been quiet, but I'm literally, we've just all been dying. We're all sick, we're all dying, we're all off work. And, um, yeah, I've been trying to sort this out with the car and the, and the cars. So it's been a busy week while dying. So, yeah, guys, listen, thank you very much. Hopefully, 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 I'll be out work. I'll be out at work tomorrow, Saturday, and maybe a bit of Sunday. I've got a night out Saturday night, so I probably won't be out on the Sunday. So I've got two days to make up. I think I'm on so far this week, 80 quid in total for the whole week. I'm not exaggerating. Bad. Listen, thank you very much for watching. Peace and love, baby. See you soon.